We now offer our ball bearing rebuild kits with just a seal kit and as well as a seal kit plus a cage. That way you can save a little money if your cage is still good. The rebuild kit that I'm showing you in this video I put together specifically for the GT3071R, GT3076R, and the GT3037R, as well as the GTX models. This may also work on other models. The major variations in this rebuild kit is the heat shield, the compressor nut, and the TO4E compressor housing clamps, as well as the TO4E compressor housing o-ring. I put together six major variations of this kit so you can buy the exact kit for your turbo. The rebuild kits that I'm talking about for this video are designed for the turbo on the right with the .50 AR compressor housing. The .70 AR compressor housing shown on the turbo on the left is commonly found with on a GT35R or a GT3082R which has a variation of the turbine wheel being a 30R turbine which gives it the variation of the two different heat shield options. The .70 AR compressor housing and .60 AR compressor housing use the same mounting tabs and they also use a different compressor housing o-ring. However, if you want to use a compressor housing o-ring with those compressor housings, it, the parts have to be machined to be able to accept that o-ring. The .60 cover is commonly found on the GT28 series and smaller. Use your common sense when ordering this kit based on the mounting tabs because there are a couple different variations not mentioned in this video of the different compressor housings. Many of the genuine Garrett ball bearing turbos had, had some in and out shaft play. The cause of that is the clearance between the pin and the cage being a little excessive. So with our cages I had them made so that they're a little bit tighter around the pin so you don't have that problem because when the cage starts moving in and out it wears out the seals a lot faster. Here's a clip of our cage as you can see it's basically identical the only difference is that I had the the pin fit tighter into the cage so that we don't have problems with excessive in and out play causing the wheels to hit the housing or the seals to just wear out from in and out shaft play. I will leave links to all the different variations of the ball bearing rebuild kits that we now offer so that you can pick out the exact rebuild kit that you need and get all the parts necessary to rebuild your turbo properly.